How do you flop sets like that? Strong. He does it. I'm doing. That's with how I One play. hand and you just flop strokes. <laughs> no big deal. You know I'm. Daniel on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like it 20 years has been happening, you know? That's what I've been doing for 20, <laughs> 20 years. It still works. All right, let's go uh, 24. It seems whenever we talk about Shark Cage, we focus on the cage and forget that there was a million dollars up top. Yeah, and we definitely sometimes forget that Daniel Negreanu actually won the top prize one of the seasons, uh, mostly because there were so many other great moments in the show. It was a great performance from Dean Eggs, though, and you've seen Ronnie Barda's journey to the shark cage hundreds and hundreds of times, so let's look at Daniel Negreanu's journey to the payout window. And don't forget to journey to the subscribe button. And how excited is Daniel going to be by that flop? Trip tens. Oh, Daniel, from worst to first... Phil may actually not continue this, yep. He checks to Antonio. Antonio could take over the betting. And that's what he does. He's gonna find out pretty fast if he's beat. This board is drier than a nun's dry cleaner. How do you think she keeps those habits so clean? Daniel calls. I don't think Phil can really stick around. He doesn't even have a draw. Making a pair could have some pretty dire consequences if someone's got a 10, which Daniel does. Well, let's allow him to stroke his chips first. Ah, <laughs> stroke. Five seconds, Phil. For his sake, I hope he's posturing like an ergonomics expert. <laughs> you got a lot of ideas in your head over there, huh? <laughs> he's always got ideas. Phil finally folds. <laughs> he really does have ideas. He's, he's got his own app. So heads up to the turn. Daniel, a 91% favorite. <laughs> Make that 95%. I would be pretty surprised if Antonio bets this again. Then again, maybe thinks Daniel would have called the flop with any pair, so he's still beating stuff like sevens, fours, fives, deuces, ace-queen, ace-jack. Ten seconds, Mr. Esfandiari. Five seconds. And a bet. Maybe he's setting up a massive river bluff. Does Daniel just call again? Where did my money go? <laughs> These pots get really big really fast. Daniel can't actually be worried, though. Ten seconds! I mean, maybe he's beat, but if he is, he's getting stacked. There's not much to worry about. He's played a time bank chip. This has got to be some more posturing, I guess. Daniel calls. We're going to the river, and the cage is in play. Oh, boy. We got a river. First one. The river is a five. Get in that cage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone shall be going to the cage at this hand. Antonio checks. And when Daniel bets, it will be for value. So I put this over here, right? And then all in. All you can eat. 255. 200. <laughs> No, it's actually what? 475. Wait dollars. a minute. I thought I had... Okay, never mind. <laughs> That's so stupid. I do that all the time. <laughs> I thought I had 275 left. Uh, we've seen Daniel play the confused old man before. It's about as believable as a compliment from Antonio or a sickly cough from Hardigan. Uh, uh. <laughs> Either way, it's going to get a fold. Five, four, three, two, fold. Phil knows. Phil knows when this comes up. When what comes out? Oh, the value card. Whew. Drink it in, Antonio. The Phil knows I always, I never leave home without a 10. <laughs> you know, Very. anytime Phil's in a pot, I got, I got a 10. <laughs> it's amazing how many times he has. Yeah. I really thought I, when you got 204, I thought I had 250 left, not 450. Not like it matters much. But mm -hmm. That's when I said, how, where'd my chips go? How do you flop sets like that? Strong.
He does it. I'm doing that. With one play. hand and you just flop strips. <laughs> no big deal. You know, I'm <laughs> Danny on the ground. <laughs> yeah, it's like it 20 years it's been happening, you know? That's what I've been doing for 20, <laughs> 20 years. It still works. I was suited. I'll play. Sure. 10 10 6. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a mystery, huh? You almost had me too. I was going to do something stupid. It? Uh, it looked like it. I was rooting for you. <laughs> the shot clock saved me. Daniel. Yeah. Daniel. Raise. 30,000. With queen seven of clubs. Well, he is in possession. Oh, hello. Another pocket pair for Antonio. Tens this time. Oh, man. When Daniel wins this one, Antonio's really going to lose his shib. Just a call from Antonio. And a low flop. Antonio, a four to one favorite. Action goes check, check. Daniel picks up a straight draw on the turn. But Antonio is definitely going to start betting now. There's the bet. Daniel's move seems fairly obvious. He calls, and we go to the river. Power up the shark cage. Power down the shark cage. Daniel just got there. Antonio said it. He put it out there in the universe. He said Daniel always gets there. He made it happen. It's called the secret, and it's pretty much responsible for everything ever. Like, I'm probably going to spill my drink. Oh, shib. Antonio about to bet. I don't see how this could possibly be a bluff. Betting with his overpair for value. Okay. Right. So he wants he wants to go to the cage, is what he's saying. I think you might go. I don't know. So if he's bluffing, I call him. He goes, hangs out there for a little while. Ah. Daniel calls with his straight. Boom. Antonio, let's see that. He goes to go to the cage, right? If it's a bluff. No value, value, never mind. I thought it was another card. It's straight, ten. straight. Yeah, I have straight. Straight with queen seven. <laughs> of course. God, you just get there. I huh? do. That's how I play. I do. That's how I play. <laughs> you just freaking so happy. <laughs> so sick. The worst winner ever. Eight seven for Daniel. Ninety thousand. He raises. Ace queen suited for Phil. Oh really? Now. He's re-raised. So he did. And he's got by far the best of it. Okay. Daniel Coles. Could be a good one. The flop. Sees Daniel pair is eight. Daniel's back to his old tricks again. Not even a club out there for Phil. Phil continues. Daniel's all in! <laughs> you don't want to know. Four. You got another 1 1.4. 1.5. 1.6. 1.6. 50 ace high. I mean, that's your hand, sorry. 1 point what? 1.65. Looks like Phil's calling. Got ace high? Yeah. 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 Phil no calls. Good. Of course. I mean, I got it. Okay. Daniel, a three to one favorite to double up here. Yeah. Daniel's in the lead with a pair of eights. That's correct. But he needs to dodge aces and queens. Good luck, sir. Thank you. Neither one of these guys got to where they are today by being unlucky, <laughs> that's for sure. If Phil hits, it's all over. The turn card is a nine. Daniel now an 86% favorite. Phil still looking for an ace or a queen for the win. Hmm? Yeah, all in. Yeah, I said you. you yeah, you said it. Now, no ace, no queen. <laughs> he win. You, 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 you hear his accent? <laughs> Do it. Yeah, he, he's very good. <laughs> oh, God. I have pair, eight. <laughs> He is no pair, ace high. I told him, ace high, uh -huh. call anyway. I say, you ace high, he say call. No, you win? Not you yet. See? Maybe ace or queen come. Feel, feel, but, but if you, you give me, know. but if you give me 1,000, then I lose. That's it? You my favorite. Okay. okay. You could okay. be bought, you could be bought. <laughs> you could be bought, his allegiance. Daniel, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Never heard of a Russian accepting a bribe. The river? Boom. <laughs>
It's a six. It's a six. <laughs> it's boom. I have full house. Full house. 1.65 million because I got a full house. And he's got ace high over there. <laughs> yeah. Champion over here. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Card's breaking even a little bit. Daniel, now a monster chip leader. <laughs> I like playing with you. It's fun. You enjoying it's a lot more it? You enjoying now it? I'm enjoying it way yeah. more than I was like a little while ago when you were just betting, raising me all the time. Phil's got 8-9. He raises. Daniel with a pair of sevens. That's a re-raise. I like the three bet. Daniel doesn't mind getting it in with two sevens here, but I don't see Phil folding nine high either. He's way too likely to be live. He calls in position. The flop. Is king eight seven a pair for Phil, but a set for Daniel? Daniel checks. Huh. Phil checks behind. Both playing it slow, but Daniel's playing it slower. The turn card is a five, giving Phil a straight draw. And now that Phil's got a legit draw, it makes it even less likely that he's going to fold. Daniel bets. I'm all in. Phil shoves! I call. And Daniel calls! Set. Set's good. This could be it! Oh, oh I win. No. Oh no, you need a six. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see that part. <laughs> but I'm in good shape right now. I'm ahead. Best shape of his life. Oh, you never know. Yeah. Phil needs a six. Don't do it to us. We got some drinking to do. Four cards Ivy can hit. Something tells me Team Ivy's not exactly worried where their next meal's coming from. <laughs> it's okay, he'll be fine. Maybe he's in good hands. Doesn't look like their first rodeo. You don't want to win like that anyway, catching a six. You, won't. Huh? you don't care, right? Just however it happens? <laughs> that would be dirty. He, he, won't, he doesn't want to win that way. He'd throw it back. If a six comes, he'd just throw it back. I sure would. He'd be like, you know what? No, I don't, I don't want it. I, I, can't, I can't win like that. Bad for my reputation. The only thing that's bad for Phil's reputation is how much smiling he's been doing. Isn't that right, you little cutie pie? The river card is a 10. All Daniel right. takes it down. One and oh. Whoa. <laughs> hey, Phil, the bad news is you got to sweep <laughs> that up. Look at this. Read the fine print, brother. <laughs> Yay.